Welcome back to Tony's Board Life. Um, here I am setting up for my next playthrough, which is Slovakia's War, uh, Panzer Grenadier Scenario book. Um, this is particularly about the Slovakia's um, presence throughout World War II. Now, much like many of the Eastern European countries that um, first sided with the um, Nazis, uh, and the Germans, they actually, these actually, uh, again, sided with the Germans, but later on, as we go through the scenarios, they actually switch sides and actually partner with, um, with the, uh, Russians and the Allies. So they become an ally later on, um, and so we've got some different, uh, so as we go through the scenarios, uh, you will see there's a big difference. So this first scenario we're going to take on is going to be about the Russian war. So there are uh, 21 scenarios. So as we go through the scenarios, we'll see. Now, my goal with this game is, um, so th in particularly this scenario is um, uh, first battle. It is uh, 30 turns. Um, so I'm probably not going to be uh, big on <laughs> really uh going through every turn and videoing so i'll probably do several turns i don't know how it is it depends on how quickly it goes i do plan on using the uh fog of war scenario fog of war where after three each side gets three activations you roll three dice three six-sided dice and if they um then those if they're equal 16 or more the turn ends immediately and then you move forward so that could shorten up the game a little bit uh, but after so many turns, after a while, we'll see how quickly they go. I'll eventually go to the AAR format where we'll give a summary of what happened on each turn, uh, as we go through the game. So let's go ahead, let's get into the forces and see who's what and who's got what, and we can go from there. So let's take a look. Let's start with the Russians. Now the Russians are on the defense, uh, in this case, um, they're going to be doing a lot of opportunity fire and not so much on the attacking side where the the Slovakians will be. So let's go ahead and let's zoom in on uh, the Russians, which I have set up right here, just so you can kind of see uh, what we've got. And then I've got the, if you see over here along the side where the Slovakians are going to come on, they're going to come on over through this way and attack through here. So let's go ahead and look at the Russians first. Now, we have the Russians all set up here. So we have, uh, leader-wise, we start off with a colonel, a major, two captains, and three lieutenants. We have ten infantry, five two infantries. We have um, three heavy machine guns. We have a, I think it's a 75. Let's see here. It should focus, focus. There we go. Uh, it is a 45 uh, millimeter anti-tank gun. Okay. Uh, and then two uh, mortars. I think these are, yeah, these are the 82 millimeter mortars here. I don't know, focus. Yeah, 82 millimeter mor mortars. So these are the NKVD. Um, troops and forces and then we have the RKKA which are these units right here in this case we have three KSMs another 45 millimeter anti-tank and a 72 uh, or 76.2 yep 76.2 millimeter uh, anti-tank gun so they can set up anywhere so let me go ahead and zoom out they can set up anywhere seven hexes to the west. Now, some uh, one of the big things that we do have to take a look at, I'm going to move, try to move it gently over here, is this town is worth five victory points. 
so they're really going to want to keep it up we do have quite a bit of elevation here we have you know a i don't know a higher level a 60 level up here um, so we do have some higher elevation here that will be good for putting some of these uh, larger cannons with some range on them uh, into places that, that, that can be reached, uh, which is really kind of cool. It'll be a good setup. So we'll set those up here. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Slovakians and see what they came up with. They have a pretty good force. I do have it broken down already. And uh, uh, to exactly who's going to be paired up with what. Now, we have we do have some tanks here. We have some LT-35s and some LT-36s, or are they 38s? They are 38s. Um, and I do have three tank leaders, so each of these groups has a tank leader. Um, those will be written down, uh, so they will be actually commanding uh, moving forward and, and telling these other tanks what to do. So I have three 35s, two 35s, and two 38s. Now, uh, let's take a take a look at um, the uh, the leaders and everything like that. So what we have here, and so this is what would be a lieutenant colonel, which is a Pol Polvonik, Pol Polvonik, and then we have a Stonik, a Porosik, and another Posik. So basically, we have a lieutenant colonel. Um, is that a captain or major? It's a very similar um, captain and then two lieutenants, basically. Uh, and so they are going to be going through with... Um, you will see I have trucks lined up with these guys to get them across. I'm going to probably take the uh, tanks and get them moving and then bring the trucks across. Because um, if you look, uh, the uh, especially once we get to you know like the HMGs and stuff like that, they only have movement of two hexes, uh, while and the infantry has movement of three, but the actual um, trucks have a movement of eight, so we can get them across. Goal is to get the tanks moving throughout here, kind of clearing some way, maybe disrupting some of the units that are out there, um, and moving forward. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, Russians set up. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and get started. By the way, if you are curious about any of the rules or anything along those lines, I would highly recommend uh, watching Rough Swordsman Wargamer's uh, Panzer Grenadier videos. He does a great job, as well as ID Jester does a very, very good job uh, of different uh, ideas and things like that. Mainly what I'm going to do is I'm, word I'm just going to play. <laughs> That's the whole idea here. I'm going to play. We're going to throw some dice, roll some dice. Uh, see what we can do and see where we can go. Now, the nice thing is with the Panzer Grenadier, there's always an intro paragraph. And there's always, well, this is what actually happened uh, for that. So, uh, bat first battle, 25 June 1941. The Slovak Mobile Group met its first opposition near Wojciechowa, a formerly Polish territory, to just the northeast of the Slovakia border. They found Red Army troops of the 8th Rifle, who had been bypassed by the advancing Germans, spearheads of a few days earlier. Undamaged and still ready to fight, Colonel Rudolf Plesovic, Plesovic uh, sent his tanks forward to support the infantry assault. So, that's that. Um, and victory conditions. A player who scores 3 to 10 more victory points than... Yeah, three to ten more victory points. Then his opponent scores a minor victory. Player who scores eleven or more victory points uh, is a major victory. Any other result is a draw. And so the Soviets get one VP for each Slovak step uh, eliminated. Uh, tanks count as double. Trucks and prime movers don't count. So the trucks that are over there will not count. And two victory points for each town hex under Soviet control at the end of the game. So that's two points for the hex that I showed you on the side of the map over here. For the Slovaks, they get one point, again, for each step eliminated. Prime movers don't count. That would be um, these guys right here. These guys would not count. They're considered prime movers. And five points for that town. So that's actually the one place where all the troops really want to consolidate into. So the nice thing is, is there are definitely some ways around... There's three, you know, you've got the middle, you've got the north, and you've got the south. 
And by the way, that is the way uh, this works. This is always north, so the top is always the north. So there's definitely some, which is real nice, some north way and some south way going through here on that. So with that, also one last thing, the Slovaks have an initiative of three um, and the Russians, Soviets have an uh, initiative of two. So let me go ahead and get the Soviets set up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got the uh, Soviets set up, and we'll see them as we go through. <laughs> um, no reason explaining how I do it, because I'm just kind of guessing at some of this and, and seeing how things go with that. What we're going to do, the Germans will be the gray, uh, the Slovakians will be the green. So we're going to roll for initiative. So let's go ahead. So the, Soviet, the Slovaks have a four. And these are double, these are what are called double D6. Soviet or the um, Slovakians are four, and the Germans are a five. This isn't going to help too much. That means the Soviets get to go first, but they don't have anything to do in this case. Um, so it's kind of one of those they're just going to pass. Um, because they can't do anything and it's going to go. So that'd be the first activation for them. So with, uh, only having a one difference, they only get one as it is. So we're going to go ahead and get moving. Let me get some, uh, moved markers here, moved and fired markers here. Okay. So I've got some moving five markers here. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and take, um, and this is where I'm going to move around and zoom in and stuff like that, just so you guys can see things better. Um, these have a, so the, we're going to start with these T-38s. They have a little bit better armor on them. Um, LT-38s. They have eight movement points. And on clear terrain with a track, which is a, it's 1.5. So I could use the road, but I think we're just going to, um, go through here. So these are going to activate here. So that's one and a half, three, four and a half, six, eight. So he's moved. And then this guy's just going to go down here. He's moved. Um, that we do have some possibility here. Um, I guess we'll just put them on. I can stack certain things, but right now I'm just trying to get them out and spread them out. Uh, when you're attacking, it's better to be spread out, moving in, um, than that. So that's the uh, first one. Now our second one, which will be uh, the the um, the Soviets. Uh, I was gonna let's go ahead and zoom back out here. Really, a lot's gonna take place on these really these two first map panels. Um, I've got this guy here, which has 16, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So he can definitely see far enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But right now, he can't because of the trees here that's all blocking and of course these guys can't see either i do have um eight four and a five two so i have 13 uh firepower right there so again soviets are going to pass it is now time for um the uh, slovakians again i think we're going to take this group here we're going to send them down um down to the bottom down here so we're going to send these guys, so one and a half, three, four and a half, six. So he's going to go there, and then he's going to go right there. Or yeah, we'll we'll keep him stacked for this time since it's clear, nobody can see him. Oh wait a minute, this guy is up high. Enough. Okay, hold on. No, it won't matter. It would have been an opportunity fire. This guy is up on a level sixty. He can definitely see over these trees. Um, there's no. Um, yep, so 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, yeah, so he is going to go to a, he's going to try and fire the mortar. Bombardment is what it is. Okay, four bombardment, that's a six. So that'll be on the five. And there, nobody's going to get closer, so it's going to be worth it. Um, they will get... Yeah, the one won't matter. So let's go ahead. We're going to try it. Uh, we got a nine, which on the bombardment chart... A nine is nothing on a five. So this is bombardment chart. Uh, a nine on a five is nothing. But he will be marked fired. No. So we're going to mark him as fired. Okay. So that wasn't anything. Which doesn't surprise me um, at this point in time in the game. That that's that way okay but what i do see is that there is a good possibility here of us having to the the juror the the uh, soviets having to move in here oh and it's <laughs> okay so it's it's not germans <laughs> it's the soviets that are the gray duh okay now uh so that was the soviets activation so that was as one two so one, two, three, four. So we're on to f okay five. There we go. So after this one, we'll have to start rolling. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys here, these three T35s, and they're going to go up the center here. There. Let me move some of these else up here. So I'm activating. The one tank leader, he's going to activate them all, so they need to stay within. So they have seven. So on a road, on a road, on a road for mech, it's two-thirds. Oh, geez. Okay, so two-thirds. So... I hate that it's two thirds. It's like I'm trying to figure this out the best way I can. Um, so for so that's two thirds, four sixths, and then so three three movement points. Yeah, okay, so pretty much so I can go at least a minimum of six hexes and a seventh hex there we go these guys are just going to fall in right behind him right behind them and they are all going to be marked moved and fired and now uh after this activation now i have to move i have to roll three dice and it doesn't matter colors or anything like that so i'm going to roll three dice to see if three dice and it's uh, an 11 so it's not a big deal so no big deal on that one so now it's uh, German act or Soviet activate I'll get it right Soviet activation this guy's got a range of 10 Okay, so he can't see anything there. Okay. Okay. Yep, I honestly think we're just going to... Um, the, germ, the Soviets are going to pass. So, another three dice... Uh, nope. That was like nine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, clear terrain, clear terrain, um, 
Motorized is two movement points. Okay. Let's go ahead and... So this leader, so we got these guys here. So one truck with with a platoon on it and two so we can move eight. One, two, three, four, or four movement points. Then we're gonna stay behind this one. And this one unfortunately only has six. So it can only it can stay right there. And I think we'll just put those as moved and fired. Another three dice. Not much going on right now. Uh, 11. So nothing there. Oh, I do have... <laughs> that's right. They do have to be spotted. Huh. Uh, let's see here. The... I have to look at the way this is. We do have some off-board... So the Soviets have two 15s and 18. So what I think we're going to do is these guys moved on. These guys can definitely be seen over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop in a barrage. Uh, right on this leader here. I was hoping I had a barrage marker, but I do not. So, I have these OBA markers, and don't worry about the actual like number on them. So we're going to drop in this OBA right here. I forgot to look at the... So that'll be... We're going to use up the 18 for the Soviets. Uh, let's see here. Contains text. Nope. No hound. Hound of text. Nope. Text. Hex is jungle beach. Nope. Target is dug in. Nope. Plus one unit is mortar, anti-aircraft, anti-tank gun. Nope. Minus one friendly fire. Nope. Plus one. Target is a loaded truck. That it is. So we get a plus one to the die roll. Uh, nope. Fire, logistics, nope. Oh, these are column modifiers. That's not that's not die rolls, yeah. So we're going from the 16 up to the 21. Uh, yep, so we're on the 21, and we are going to roll on the 21. And we get a 5 on the 21, which is a morale check. Okay, so this guy's got to go for morale. So we have the Pol Polvolnik. Pol Polvolnik. He was working on it. So that's an 8. Oh, he scores an 11. So he is... That's not good. That was not good at all. And then... So he's uh, disrupted. Not good. Leader's disrupted. Okay. And so their morale is seven. Okay. So the truck is disrupted. So everything's disrupted. So that was actually quite effective when it came down to actually... Um, using that appropriately so we've got we had our first not really casualty but it's um it's not good to have uh my lieutenant colonel basically not good not in a good situation so so that's that whole stack's disrupted um, so next turn we're gonna have to spend figuring it I'm gonna have to try to rally them uh, to bring them back up okay three dice 
and we're going to see what happens. And that's 12, so nothing there. Let's go ahead and get the Stotnik. The Stotnik. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The road, because the road for motorized. Road for motorized is half. So these guys can really get going. So. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So he is going to go right here. Eh, let's go right here. He's being cautious. That guy can't see. There's That could possibly... Nope, you can't see there. And then these guys will move in right below. And get them, get them cruising and moving. And they are both fired. Uh, Soviets. I have to take a look. Um, but I don't think... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't think we can go through that. Okay. Uh, three dice again. This is for the Slovox. Nope. Okay, no problem. And that's for the Slovaks. Hmm. So Soviets, um, they're actually okay. They kind of don't mind waiting up, so they're just going to pass right now. There's no real reason for them not to pass. So then we're going to take uh, this leader right here activate him this is the portal sick just like the uh, the lieutenant so we're gonna move him here uh, with his groups right behind him one two three four five six seven eight so that's four yeah, uh, we'll just put them right in here as well. And then they will be moved. Be marked moved, fired. And I almost have them on again. Soviets. No real problem there. They do have... Ooh, yeah. Let's, let's see what happens. So they do have another... They do have a 15... So let's go ahead and we're going to try to Yeah, see the bombardment's going to not going to do much good for those tanks. Um but I think what they may do is they may take the 15 and go there. Yep. So they're going to take we're going to do an OBA on that one, so that'll be 15. It's going to be plus one because it's a truck. So 15 plus one, so it'll be on the 16 column. And we rolled an 11 on the 16 is an M1. So we have to add one to the die roll. Uh, and again, morale, so I need six or less. Six or less. Oh, got a six. So... That OBA did not matter at all. Oh, and by the way, these guys you, these guys can't see them because they're in the woods. So they can't see them. Because they're just chilling out out there in the woods. And I, spotting range is 12, so technically I could spot them. But since they're in um, a... If I remember, it's a limited terrain... Uh, so that looks like light woods to me. So light woods, 
spotting. I have to see notes on the light woods. Mm, light woods can trace ML3 through one light woods hex or light jungle hawk, but not trace through two or more. Okay. So I think technically they could see them because it's not limited terrain. Um, So they could see that. Okay, so these guys, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, they barely can. So what we're gonna do, so that was the 15 for the Soviets. Uh, so we need two die roll. Uh so that's eleven, so nothing there. So we're gonna use the 15 again, uh, but we're gonna go after this guy right here. Um, and this time it'll be just on the 12 column. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> As you hear me, some punk go. Uh, yeah, so we're good. So it's just just on the 12 column for bombarding. This will be a, a 5 on the 12 is no effect. So got rid of that one. And so now we've got we got to roll three dice again. Uh, uh oh, 16 turn ends immediately so that's actually the end of turn out turn one so let's take a look we didn't get this group on which is kind of nice because it's kind of cramped so now what's nice is we'll be able to start getting rid of these guys and start moving them over that way um didn't get to use all my oba um and with that so let me go ahead i'm going to pull off the um the moved fire markers and so you guys can get a better idea of where the Slovaks are at going after here. Uh, we did have some damage <laughs> with that one. So let me go ahead and get these off and then we'll get back. Okay, so we're back. And so this is where we're at again. We didn't get one whole group onto the board. Again, I'm not too upset about that. I'm going to start moving things out and things like that to start moving forward. Um... We did have our lieutenant, our pulled pulled Klovenik. I think I'm saying that right. I'm get, I'm getting closer. Uh, but our lieutenant colonel is disrupted, as well as the uh, squad that's underneath. So the whole stack, which is um, a tr basically it's a truck with a platoon in it. I said squad. I used to play in squad level games, but these are all platoons. So we've got one platoon. Uh, disrupted, so I'll have to spend next turn getting that going. Uh, none of the, uh, we don't have any real issues with the armor right now, but I do need to get them moving forward uh, with that. So I think I shorted myself some movement on these, and I'll have to calculate uh, later on exactly how many hexes they can move on a road. But eventually we're going to be off a road anyway. So, okay, with that, that's the end of turn one, and that was the setup. Uh, Hopefully next time we'll keep going through it. I do like the uh, end of turn rules, you know, the very end of turn. Wish I would have waited another couple turns <laughs> to start it. Uh, but pretty much everything was on other than one group. And then this way I can move these guys along the road and not have too much of an issue with that. So with that, I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.